people. Oh, Becca writes, question. If you have two, wait, if you two have sex on the third date without being said to be exclusive, and then he said he's going, he's going with the flow, is that a bad sign? If two people have sex on the third date without being without it being exclusive, or the, the words it's exclusive, and then he said it's going with the flow, is that a bad sign? So I have a rule of thumb when it comes to sex. And this is my rule of thumb. Write this down. The acronym is CARES. Um, here, let me write it down for you. Hold on a second. C-A-R-E-S. CARES. There it is on the, on the YouTube screen. There it's on the Instagram screen. All right, CARES. The C stands for do not have sex until you feel comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. And what I mean is you should never feel pressured to have sex with another person. You should never um, be careful of, of alcohol consumption that might lower your boundaries. So be in a state of feeling comfortable. The A stands for be aware of the consequences. If you bond easily to a man, having a base, a man, especially on a third date, if you bond really quickly, be aware of the consequences, because here's the thing. First off, having sex once doesn't require exclusivity. Having sex on a regular basis, if you're like me, monogamy and exclusivity is important. It's better to have the conversation about it. The R stands for real intentions. Learn his real intentions, okay? And that would mean, are you seeking a fully committed relationship that's going somewhere, or are you just going with the flow? The E stands for exclusivity. Ladies, I'm going to tell you something. I, I'm very upfront in the dating process. I tell women very early on, if we're dating and we are intimate together, I'd like to be exclusive. How do you operate? Folks, the word exclusivity should be discussed before the penis ever goes inside the vagina. Okay? The idea, if you're going to have regular sex with someone, then you better have a conversation, at least if not after the first time you have sex, before it gets to go the second time and the third time and the fourth time and the fifth time, you better discuss exclusivity. And the S in CARES, C-A-R-E-S, the S stands for safety. Now, that could mean wearing a condom. That could mean getting STD tests, okay? But make sure you're safe, just like comfortable, it's safety as well as comfortable. And folks, if you're not following this rule of thumb, especially the exclusivity part, then it's on you, not on him, because guys will just go with the flow. And if you're gonna follow the man's lead, he just wants to go with the flow. And guess what's gonna happen? He's going with the flow, you get attached to him, you're hooked, and then you're fucked because he has all the power. Like I said before, the person who cares the least or the person who makes the least effort is the one who retains the power in relationship. And that's unhealthy power in relationship. And I'm not a big proponent of unhealthy power in a relationship. Can I please get an amen? <laughs> I feel like a preacher. Thank you so much for that question, Becca. That was a great question. 